So in my fourth grade class, we like to watch videos, not only just to get the children excited for it, but also to give some background knowledge. Some kids don't know about certain topics, so this kind of gets us on an equal level. They really, really like YouTube, and I am also in an inclusion classroom. So we also like to do brain pop, and it gets everybody different learning skills and abilities to get on the same page and also open up for a friendly class conversation. As a STEM teacher, I use video to introduce topics and to engage my students. As a video um, production teacher and STEM teacher, I use video to allow my students to create their own videos to share the knowledge that they've learned in a different way. In my classroom, I use videos to help introduce lessons to grab students' attention and to add engagement. Through videos, students can hear and see what is being taught. Sometimes hearing the lesson from a different angle or voice helps it to stick. I also use videos to enhance students' background knowledge. Not all students have the same experiences, so through video, it is like we are visiting new places together. In science, I use video sometimes for experiments that we are unable to complete in class. Videos are helpful in math to reinforce a lesson. I also post videos for difficult lessons so that the students can use the videos at home to help with their homework. They can pause and work at their own pace to help them master the skills. As a special education teacher, I use videos very often in the classroom. Um, not only is it engaging for all of the learners, particularly in our inclusion environment, but it really supplements what we're teaching for my students with special needs. They may not understand something right away if it's in written word in front of them, but then you put that video out there and they're able to engage in the reading or whatever other task that we're doing. Okay, I use videos to help introduce new topics to students and to help them relate and engage in the lesson. I also think videos can be used as additional resources, so they are often posted for kids to access later on when they need additional help.